Well, Saturday's coming up here at the Big A, and that means one thing, a $200,000 guaranteed late pick four at Aqueduct. Nine race card races six through nine. And once again, we continue to have that winner's bonus if you're a member of Naira.com. You go to Naira, I guess it's m.naira.com. You bet online or you bet through your mobile device on that site, and you are eligible for a 20% winner's bonus of up to $100 on the pick four. You'll want to use that. Just another reason to join Naira.com and do your betting through us at Naira.com on our great website. It is not an easy sequence. It is not a sequence that I think is going to pay small money. There are a lot of horses that can really win pretty much every race, and I'm going to try to give you a roadmap to get through it because this is a very tough sequence. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if any of the three, four, six, nine, or ten won race six a maiden special weight. Now, the three, Kian Sabi, is a big long shot in there, and not my top choice. I think the horse to beat is probably the ten, Saratoga Charlie, maybe along with the six, Jet Black. They're the main two players, though I'm likely to take a small shot with the nine, New York Zip, on top in here. A new gelding that has some back races that are okay coming back for Leo O'Brien. My early feel on this race... Some combination of nine, ten, six, as well as the four horse in here, a first time starter, Timber, who is a half to a good turf sprinter, Green Mask, from a very live sire, Girolamo, having a good year his first year at stud. Race number seven, I prefer the three past the dice. Along with the seven, this hard land, they would be my main two in the pick four. I think horses like the two best play and maybe the eight tug of four, or tug of war, they're fringe players if you want to play a big ticket. I am against the four pin and win coming off a big win last time, a win that I think is very much dressed up. He feels like the one I want to play against here. The three past the dice, the seven, this hard land. My early two top selections in here. A very good Tom Fool with 11 entered. And clearly, Saludos Amigos coming back from the West Coast. The horse to beat. He won the Tom Fool last year. I'm going to use both David Jacobson horses, the nine Saludos Amigos, as well as the eight Stall Walking Dude. I also want to use the seven Moana Rose, who has been in raging good form in the cup last couple of races since coming off a layoff for trainer Chris Englehart. I think with a more patient trip in here, I think he has a chance to upset the field a fair price. Seven, eight, nine to get through a very, very interesting Tom Fool. Race number nine, it does not get any easier. There are more than a few players. Frankly, looking at this, the one Frazel, the two Castaway, the three Regulus, the five Star of New York, the six March two, the seven Bama Bound. These are all horses that can win this race. Now, obviously, you have to narrow it down at some point. I guess the right three to use, the main three for me, would be the two Castaway, the three Regulus, a reclaim for Rudy Rodriguez and Mike Dubb, and the five Star of New York, who's dropping down. They would be my top three out of those six, but I'll tell you, this is a wide-open race. This is a pick four you've got to get involved with. It is not going to play small money, and if you're playing through mnira.com, you can make even more money with that 20% winner's bonus. The late pick four on Saturday, guaranteed $200,000.